Hi friends, it's Aubrey. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. If you are sick of those turkey leftovers like I am, here are four chicken dinner recipes that you can make in your crock pot that are super easy and dump and go. Let's get cooking. The first chicken crock pot recipe I'm going to show you is the mango salsa chicken bowls. First, we're gonna add two chicken breasts into our crock pot. Next, we're going to add in about one and a half cups of mango peach salsa that I got from Costco. We're gonna blend that up so it's a little bit finer and dump that in. We'll then add in one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of salt, and a half teaspoon of pepper. We'll give that a quick stir and then cook it on low for about four hours. After about an hour, you'll add in one can of rinsed and drained pinto beans and one cup of frozen fire roasted corn. I made sure to stir every like half hour or so. This is totally not necessary, but it did help to make sure that my frozen corn and my frozen pinto beans thawed all the way and were also able to absorb some of the juices from the salsa. After three to four hours, I went ahead and temped my chicken. Once it was at 165, I pulled it out so we could shred it up shredded the chicken into smaller pieces and then put it back in, gave everything one more good quick stir and then made some rice, heated up some tortillas and we had such an amazing meal. I definitely recommend this and the salsa from Costco is also just super good to snack on. So if you haven't been able to try it out, highly recommend that as well. This next one is Parmesan chicken and potatoes. I'll be sure to have the recipe linked down below for you that I'm loosely following. First, you're gonna add in about two tablespoons of olive oil and two pounds of golden potatoes. Next, you'll add in a half teaspoon of rosemary, a half teaspoon of basil, a half teaspoon of oregano, and a half teaspoon of parsley. Then you'll add in some salt and pepper to taste. I did about a teaspoon and a half of salt and a half teaspoon of pepper. We also added in about a fourth teaspoon of onion powder and about two cloves of minced garlic. If I were cooking this again, I would let the potatoes cook for about two hours by themselves before adding in the chicken. That way the potatoes can cook and I'd also add in about a fourth cup of chicken broth with the potatoes. We're gonna add in two chicken breasts and just salt and pepper the chicken breasts and add a few other seasonings that we had already added in with the potatoes just so that the chicken itself will have some additional seasoning. We'll put the lid on and cook this on high for about three to four hours. And after it is done cooking, you'll go ahead and sprinkle it with about a half cup or so of Parmesan. I did a little bit less just cause we cannot have as much cheese as we like in this household, but that's okay. This turned out really good. We had some rolls with it and some corn and it was extra delicious. This next one is one of our family favorites. We're making some honey garlic chicken. We're gonna stir up the sauce first. You're gonna need a half cup of soy sauce, a half cup of honey, or in my case, I did a fourth cup of honey and a fourth cup of brown sugar. It'll work either way. And then one tablespoon of olive oil, one teaspoon of onion powder, two to three cloves of garlic that are minced, and one teaspoon of kosher salt and a half teaspoon of pepper. We'll give the sauce ingredients a nice stir and then we'll go ahead and put our chicken into the crock pot. You can use breasts or thighs. I am using thighs today. And then we'll go ahead and add the sauce on top. And this will cook for about three to four hours on low until the e chicken easily falls apart. 
and you can thicken up the sauce if you want. You can put it into a pan and put it on the stove with a cornstarch slurry to thicken it up a bit. And you can put sesame seeds on this, green onions, make it with some rice and a veggie like we did and it turned out super tasty. This is definitely one of those that we have quite often. This last recipe is a creamy ranch chicken. I'm loosely following another recipe. I'll be sure to have it linked down below for you. First, you're gonna add in a half cup of chicken broth. I used the bouillon powder and then some water. And then we're gonna add in one 10 and a half ounce can of cream of chicken. We'll add in about a half teaspoon of onion powder and two to three cloves of garlic. I'm using the jarred kind just because it's easier. Next, we'll add some salt and pepper. I would definitely go light on the salt or not add any until you're serving it at the table as the cream of chicken soup can be rather salty by itself. We're gonna give this a quick stir before we add in our ranch dressing packet. And once that is dumped in, we'll give it one more stir before adding in our chicken breast. You can definitely use chicken thigh as well. We just had breasts on hand, and so that is what we're using today. We'll make sure to stir the chicken around in the sauce so that way it is fully immersed, or at least partially immersed, and we'll go ahead and put this lid on and set it on low for about five to six hours. And once that is all done cooking, I pulled mine out and shredded it up and then we served it on top of some noodles. We also had some broccoli on the side and this one was good. Not our absolute favorite, but we will be making it again as it's simple and easy to make. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you did enjoy. Please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below of your favorite chicken crock pot meals that I should try out. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I would love to have you here and I hope you have the best rest of your day. Bye.